I watch people say, oh, he getting his karma. He get karma. How do you compare? Karma. You're saying hatred, lies, anger, bitterness, brokenness. You won't, you're comparing karma to that. That's not karma. That's not what karma is called. When the most, it, because most high chastise, right? The most high don't send karma. He don't send evil. The most, go read the scripture. He said, let no man say when he is tempted that he is tempted by the most high. Listen to this part. He said he does not tempt, nor is he tempted with evil. Listen to the scripture. Let no man say when he is tempted that he is tempted by the Most High, because he is not tempted. Listen, nor does he tempt with evil. Your how is that karma? The Most High does not send a lie to his child to send him to prison. The Most High does not send hatred to his children to try to destroy his character. Anytime I've told a story, when I dropped, when I talked about my book, if you read the book, it is not to torment, taunt. Break, cast whatever evilness out into the world. You don't compare. Oh, he did all of that, did all of that, he did all of that, and now this is going on. That's his karma. Read the scripture. That's how I'm always able to see who's who and who belong to who because I know the word. To the people who, the word this, and then, 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 the word saves me every time. The word wake me up. Every time the word let me see clear every time the word helped me hear and understand every time this is me Joe T this is not correction I encourage you as well that's me them over there talking about that's karma that this and that that's not that's not me Joe T I would not send somebody to lie on you say that you rape them and send you back to prison when I released you from prison. If I wanted you to stay in prison, clearly I could have kept you in prison. I would have never gave you a way of escape when I was planning to use you to come out here and shine light for me. So why would I allow somebody to lie on you and send you back to prison? People don't use their mind, no. It ain't that they don't use their mind. It's that they not in the word. They don't understand the scripture. You try, oh, that's karma. That that word. So, so let me ask you something. So you you will try to cope. Let me talk to somebody. Let me let me let me let me let me bring it down a notch. Because I want to talk to somebody who may be getting karma confused with evil. If something has went wrong for you, that has attacked your health. That has, that has attacked your finances, your family, and it's in a form of evil. Don't you never get in your mind and say, you're reaping from something you done. That's not what that is. The disciples asked the king, Yeshua, who we know is Jesus the Christ. The disciples asked him, I'm going to answer my calling in just a second. It's, it's coming. This, this going to push me to a commercial break me, please. This, this, this is most definitely about to push me into this, man. <laughs> I can feel it. Listen, the disciples, the disciples asked, who sinned that they, that they made this person like this because of what they had or whatever disease or whatever, whatever disability or whatever it is that they had? They said, who sinned and caused this? You know why? Because the disciples had the mindset of a lot of these people who don't understand spiritual warfare. They don't understand spirituality. They don't understand the king. So they was thinking that these people were disabled or sick on the strength of sin. 
Nah, he said, nah, that happened that way. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 uh, so that can help people. So I can do this and then show people, you know what I'm saying, the glory of the most high. Don't never in your mind think something happened evil to you and it was from the king. It's not. It never is. It's never, if it's evil, if it's in a form of wickedness, if it come from hatred, if it come from bitterness, if it come from somebody being angry and spiteful, it is not the king who doing so. He said, let no man say. He said, because he's not tempted, nor does he tempt with it. So for the people who being used, who don't understand that I know the word and I'm able to see principalities and powers that's trying to work against me, that I see that I don't fight I don't war against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Listen to me. Guess what I understand? You're saying things and you want me, you want my spirit to come in agreement. And it's not because the scripture tell me when it's time, I'm going to bring it to remembrance. This is a time. It's a time for everything. It's a time to build up. It's a time to tear down. Let me stop right there. It's a time to tear down. It's a time to build up. Tear down whatever need to be tore down. Force it, like I said last night. Tear down whatever friendship I don't need, even if it hurt me. Tear down whatever relationship I don't need, if it hurt me. Tear down a little bit of my finances so it'll humble me. Turn down some of the views and likes or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? The enemy been getting in my head and telling me this is this is this and this is this is that. Turn it down. But it get, he said it's a season though. So let turn it down and then get what he said. I'm going to build it back up. What he building it up with? Correction. What he build it back up with? Humility. What he build it back up with? Love. What he build it back up with? Gentleness. What he build it back up with? Self-control. What he build it back up with? Huh? Peace. Let him build it back up with the peace. But see, this is when, when you don't understand spiritual warfare, you get it backwards. You, you get it backwards. You, you get tore down. But then the enemy get in your head and he keep you down with depression. He keep you down with anxiety. He keep you down with low self-esteem. He keep you down with jealousy. He keep you from going forth because of that envy. He keep you from going forth because of the anger. And then that anger, what the scriptures say, that root of bitterness get down in you. He keep you down and keep you stagnant. He, he didn't, didn't he make you paranoid. Then all your anxiety levels go off. Then you don't trust nobody. Now you can't, now you don't want nobody around you. Now you doing this and now you doing that. The enemy done tricked you. He tore you down and kept you down. But when you understand the spirit is like, I'm going to take that from you. It's going to hurt you, but I'm going to bring you back up. I'm going to build you back up. Listen to me. It's a season for everything. Y'all probably hear this a lot. People are seasonal. People come into your life. You get what you need to get from them. They get what you need to You get what you need to get from them. They get what you need. They, it go both ways. You get what you come and get it out. I'm, I get what I'm supposed to get. They get what they supposed to get. But a lot of times because of the human, because of the human in us and the emotion in us, that's why, that's why you got to be careful when you're in the church building. Because the emotions, the, the, the emotional level be so high. A lot of times people think that cry can move the hand of the most high and make him do something outside of his will. Your emotions will not change the will. But see, you will get when you start getting emotional like that, you have to understand the correction is still gonna happen. The chastisement is still gonna happen. It has to happen. That's what listen. 
Man, the word is so good to me, man. The word is so good to me. It really is, man. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> so, like I said last night, majority of the time, you, 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 you got to go ahead and encourage yourself. I got a lot of calls, I got a lot of texts, I appreciate it. But a lot of times, you got to get up and encourage yourself. You, you really do. You really do. You have to jump in the Word. You, you, got, you got to go search the Scripture and see yourself. That, that's what you got to do. Because a lot of times, we talk about, we talk, listen to me. We talk about, let me, get, let me talk about Moses for a second. I got a workbook, hold on. I got, I got a workbook. A lot of y'all probably ain't never seen this, right? I got a workbook too. I'm finna put it back out. We sometimes we 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 when we discuss the scripture, we always talk about the the greatness within a lot of them, right? But it, rarely will we hear, you know, what I'm saying some of the characteristics and flaws that some of the the, the people out of the word uh had. Some of the some of the brothers and sisters out of the word had, right? So look, check this out. Look at the character of Moses. You know, going to where he go, going to where he, you know what I'm saying, floated at on the little on the little river or whatever, and they got him and then they raised him, right? It said that Moses seen his brother, his Hebrew brother, in a situation. Moses went over there. Actually, this man was gone. Moses buried this man. After Moses buried this man, he went on about his business. Stop right there. Pay attention to the character, the mindset. Even though who he was, who he became, Moses still did that. Talk about the, you have to have a certain type of mindset to do that. You, you have to. You have to have a certain type of mindset to do that and move on about your business. Moses was willing to do it again. The man was finna save him again. His brother exposed him. When his brother exposed him, he flee. That's the same type of stuff people do in the streets when they when they don't want to face accountability and responsibility for what they do. He flee. The most high still called him. The most high still called him. How many people you think? People were saying in the back of their head, why him? With all, with all the people in the world. How many times? This is me, man. This is spiritual warfare going on. Look at that question right there. Cause I can. <laughs> people act like I really 